solve square root of 2x plus 1 plus 7 is equal to x. This is slightly different from the one we did earlier. Can somebody tell me what would be your first step here and what's the difference between this one? Um, you will subtract the 7 first. Right, so this one you have to isolate the radical. The other one we did earlier, the radical was already isolated. So you're going to have to worry about isolating this. So uh, go ahead and tell me what do we get when we do that. So we have that. So on the left hand side we get square root of 2x plus 1 is equal to x minus 7. So what would be the next step? To square both sides. Okay. Now we're going to square both sides again. On the left hand side I would get 2x plus 1 because that square root and square cancels it out. So remember, recall, if I have square root of x here and if I square them, this would be just x. But the reason is because square root of x is equal to x to the power of 1 half, right? So you may want to recall again nth root of x to the power of m. Write this down somewhere. This is the same as x to the power of m over n. So when I have square root of x, this is really x to the power of 1 half. This is the second root and the exponent here is 1. So as you see, if I replace that square root of x with x to the power of 1 half, you can easily see if I square this and 1 half and 2 turns to 1, so we end up getting x here. So that's why that square root of and two square root and two kind of cancel each other out in terms to one. So can somebody tell me what do I get on the right hand side? I have a minus b squared x two times seven is fourteen x plus forty nine. So let's move everything to one side of the equation. I'm going to go ahead and subtract minus 2 and subtract 1 from both of the equations so under everything goes to the right hand side. So on the right hand side I would get minus 2x minus 1 in addition to what I already had and the whole thing is equal to 0. So let's go ahead and write this as x squared if I combine like terms, I get minus 14x minus 2 that adds up to minus 16x. And then here I have 49 plus 1 that gives me plus 48. Okay, can somebody tell me what would be the next step? How do you solve for x? Factor. Okay, how do you factor this? You get one. Um, it'll be x, x here, x here. Mm -hmm. minus 4 and minus 12. Yeah, 4 and 12 would work. So here we have 4 and 12. We have 4x. We have 12x. In order to get minus 16 out of that, both has to be minus. And minus 4 times minus 12 is plus 48. So we get two solutions. x minus 4 is equal to 0. So x is equal to 4. Or x minus 12 is equal to 0. x is equal to 12. Can I box both of these answers? Are these both are the yeah. two solutions? Let's, let's test. Okay, 4. If you check 4, does 4 works? Substitute 4 for x. Is it going to add up to 4 here? That would be 2 times equal to 8. 8 plus 1 is equal to 9. Square of 9 is equal to 3. 
3 plus 7, is that equal to 4? No. How about 12? Does 12, 12 work? 2 times 12 plus 1 plus 7, is that equal to 12? That would be 24 plus 1 would be 25. Instead of 25, would be 5. 5 plus 7, is that equal to 12? Yes, it is. So 12 would be the answer we can select. X is equal to 12, not X equal to 4.